Texas. All right, on to our weekly feature, Smart Farm. And agricultural experts are urging small-scale farmers to embrace biological solutions to enhance productivity while protecting the environment. These solutions involve introducing natural predators from pets, pests and enriching the soil with beneficial microorganisms. Organisms. Now, this week on Smart Farm, our very own Dennis Sutiano takes us to Nakul County to explore how these innovative practices are taking root. In the outskirts of Naivasha town, Nakuru County, where agriculture sustains communities and livelihoods, a new dawn is calling for change. At this demonstration farm, farmers are encouraged to adopt biological farming solutions to combat pests threatening their crops. We have the live insects, which we call the microbials. Then we have uh, the soil products or the nutrition products, which we can generally classify as the biostimulants. And then we have the crop protection products. Basically, this is uh, products that are for control of pests and diseases. The total acre range of the demo farm is slightly below two, two acres. And uh, we have quite a number of crops. From uh, horticulture, we have tomatoes, we have uh, peas, potatoes, cabbage, broccoli, uh, French beans. Uh, from broad acre or for raw crops, we have sorghum, wheat, barley, maize, uh, finger millet. Here, beneficial insects are bred specifically to combat agricultural pests, effectively controlling pest populations without the use of chemicals. The beneficial insects uh, provide a solution that is natural because these are natural and these are natural enemies to pests. So if you introduce them to your crop, they are able to feed on the insects and that way you have a control without uh, necessarily interfering with the environment by very heavy sprays or sprays that might be having a negative impact on the environment. But also it's one sure way of uh, ensuring that you are able to control and go to zero because the the insects will uh, being natural enemies they will feed on the as long as there's, there's food they'll keep feeding so that way they control the pests biological solutions not only involve introducing natural predators for pests but also enriching the soil with beneficial microorganisms for example phytocilla mites can help control red spider mites without chemicals so if i can choose an example with french beans we have a program that is to grow French beans. And uh, our main focus is soil. Basically, soil is everything. And with continuous use of soil, and uh, I'll, I'll use the word misuse, we have had uh, soils that are tired, soils that are depleted. And they, we can no longer call, call them soils, but that is dust. So we need to rejuvenate our soils. We need to make our soils more alive again. And if you go to any of our beds, you'll find so much uh, organisms there. You'll see earthworms. You'll see balanced nature. So we grow the full cycle. And uh, growing the full cycle, we harvest the yield. And then we can quantify what were the benefits. And also there are lessons for us. We know. What are the challenges and what do we need to research more? And that's why we say we provide solutions that are backed by science. Biological solutions also harness nature's processes to manage pests and enhance soil health. Experts say by using beneficial insects and organic fertilizers, farmers can significantly reduce their reliance on harmful chemicals. Farmers are increasingly shifting from the use of synthetic pesticides to biological mechanisms thanks to a growing demand for safer and more environmentally friendly solutions in agriculture. 
but these solutions face a myriad of challenges, especially in formulation, registration, commercialization, as well as acceptance. The support that can be there is to fast track registration of these uh, products, but also to support initiatives that are doing research to make sure that we get more products uh, that are natural in our country because we have the solutions in nature. It's just about commercializing the same. And then uh, a second one is uh, education, that is training the farmers on uh, sensitization. It's more of sensitization for farmers, whether through farmer groups, whether through extension services, which is, is key to make sure that farmers are aware of food safety and that way they look for solutions that will ensure that what they produce is safe for consumption. As farmers transition from synthetic pesticides to biological methods, the journey towards safer, more sustainable agriculture continues. With the right knowledge and resources, farmers can harness nature's potential, leading to healthier crops and improved livelihoods. Denis Oteno, Smart Farm.